Hey, what's going on back? First in the room today, yes sir. Night Hunter, how you doing? Gundy Man. What's cracking, buddy? Daniel's Gaming, Squeaky Trash Panda. How's everybody doing? Butterfly Brooksy. How are you, my dear? Just pushing buttons, getting things moving. As everybody rolls on in. Jesse Queen, what's happening? Greg Fernero, how are you? Start sooner, he says. I'm sorry, man. I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I was trying to wait a little bit. Mrs. B's out right now. So I thought, well, we'll start just a little bit later so she gets back in time for it. <laughs> but I'll try. Cripple Bells, what's happening? Neil Wagner, hello, hello. You spell with one L. I spell it with two. Got the rest right, though. <laughs> or I got the part of it wrong, I guess, is more like it. Tyler Jones, what's happening, man? Hey, we're in Gale. Good day, sir. Mr. Brooksy. How'd that buffalo slaughter go for you? Saw you posted in this card. Daniel Guerrero. What's happening, man? Henry, what's up? What's going on? Donald Landman. Hey, Donald. Good to see you, man. Nice to see you, David Chad. Cash and Clip. Hello, hello to you, kind sir. Miles Ammerling. Welcome. The pro gamers in the house. Clemens and the tour. Hello, hello. What's happening? <laughs> Play your favorite game watching your favorite um streamer. <laughs> Jurassic Enthusiast. How are you today? Alan Birchtold. What's going down, man? Looking good and green. Lorraine Washington, I'm Ben. I, yeah, I, what's up? <laughs> I'm still, is it wrong? It's 1.30 in the afternoon and I feel like I'm still waking up. What a way to start your day. Is that it? Is that all the music? You know what? We're not going into the next one. Hard stop, push the button, give her. Best of luck. It's a diamond, baby, yes, sir! Job Master Tam, hello, welcome. Matt Gambiano, good day to you, sir. Trey Langlos, how are you? Lovable, what's happening? Welcome, guys. Wolf Lover, Wolf Lover, Wolf lo Lover, Wolf Lover, my goodness, wow. Wolf, you could just reach out and slap me with a mouse or something right about now. I might need it. I might need it. Daz, what's going on? Ah, oh, it's all good, man. No worries. No worries. Yeah, we're going into the Twitch afterwards. Just having too much fun starting on one, going to the other. We it's good times, man. And it really is like the after party. Dare I say it? Dare I say it? After party, a little more wild. It's hard to believe because we get pretty wild on here. Tom Hanks, that's fantastic, man. Enjoy work. Call the Wild Player, hello, how are you? Trevor Taylor, I'm fantastic, man. Thank you for asking. Butterfly, well, I'm, we're glad you're here, but if you're not feeling it, man, put your feet up, eyes closed. Get Brooksy to pamper you. Maybe a foot rub there, Brooksy. <laughs> Just hoping for work, Donald. Fantastic. Wow, I tell you, work. What is that? What is that these days? Animals just outside my tent. <laughs> oh, it's a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. <laughs> yes, sir. I can't see you. I can't kill you yet. <laughs> it's a diamond baby 982, yes, sir. Some of Discord gave the drilling rifle some serious credit after seeing that I dropped a legendary cape buffalo. Awesome, Tyler. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. It's oh, Clemens, yeah. Time zone oh, suck, man. Time zones suck. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of time zones. One thousand scory. Night Hunter's got an albino road here. Very nice. James Doyle, hello. How are you, my man? Huntress94, what's cracking? Coming over to the Twitches. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Ha, ha, ha. Wolf Lover's on the phone, so you won't be throwing your phone at me for stumbling over names. All right, then. All right. There we go. We're through it. Hit the go live buttons. Let's do this. Oh, man. The countdown is on, my friends. It is getting so close to go time. I mean, so close to go time. I can almost taste it. It's palatable. It's on the tip of my tongue. 
Ah, just a bit of the beard, never mind. But still, my point is, Tuesday, we are getting a big update. It's it's huge. It's got tons of bug fixes, and it's got the great ones. You know what? i got to tell you, I know we're probably not going to see one for a little while, but we're still going to try. <laughs> we're still going to go out. We're still going to wreck the maps. We're going to punish Layton to the fullest extent of the gun. I tell you, I'm looking forward to it a lot. I hope you guys are too. It's going to hit all platforms, and you know we're going live. So make sure to yes, set some sir. time aside Fantastic. and come hang out as we why, as we go through. I'm already stumbling. As we go through Layton and try and sort out the great ones. Bacolic Buffalo with a super chat is the Great Ones edition coming up. My white tail need zones keep getting removed. Oh. Oh, coming why that is it that's why it's I, man, I need more coffee. Mrs. Oh, Mrs. B's not here. I got uh, <laughs> Thank you very much for the super chat, but sorry I'm tripping all over my tongue. It's been one of those mornings so far here. Uh, your need zone shouldn't be removing, but I'm not going to lie. You're not the first one to mention that. Uh, we had somebody in Discord in our Call of the Wild general talking about it, and they thought that they were losing some as well. So it, it I mean, it's possible. Now, do keep in mind when you receive need zones, uh, the need zones, they often change. Like, for instance, if I got a moose need zone, Right here, okay, it's a white tail jacket, but say I just spotted a moose there, it's most likely going to show the last animal at that location. Now, what we can't confirm is if it's the last animal tagged at that location or if it's just the last animal at that location. So, there is that possibility. I don't know that needs them should be disappearing. But as I said, I have had one other person mention that, and, and I was questioning how that was happening. So, if it is, I highly recommend that you go ahead and contact EW. Uh, via Twitter is honestly what I figured would be the best way to get in touch with them. Although they do have a support email as well. A Dazzle Lion, hello, my friend. Joining the channel membership here. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for the support, man. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Nice to have you back with us. And hey, don't worry about it. You know, real life happens, man. And if real life happens, well, you just got to roll with it. We're still going to be here when you get back. Hi, uh, Rebecca Siegel, hello, and welcome, welcome. I can't wait for the fun to begin either. I, I, I'm always biting at the bit, and I wanted to start right at noon today. But Mrs. B told me she had to go out. So get this, guys. Here's what COVID is doing on, on, you know, like we hear about all these different things, how it's affecting everything, and all these changes and everything. So I have two kids, right? I got uh, two kids here, my daughter and my son, that are, you know, young. My daughter's 13. My son is 9. And I'll tell you, you know, I think they've been hit harder with this than we have. Just in how, like, my daughter, she's 13 years old. She can't go out. She can't go see her friends. Well, it's one of her best friend's birthday today. And Katie, if you are watching, as you sometimes do, happy birthday from this bearded fellow. Uh, and so, as a request, she's asked if all of her best friends just do a drive-by. Drive by, stop, say happy birthday, and off you go. So that's where Mrs. B is right now. She's taking our daughter around to her friend's house so she can wish her a happy birthday. But she can't even give her best friend a hug. Man, I tell you, times have a changed. So, anyways, enough of that. I just thought it was kind of, you know, something I would share and, and how different people are coping with things. And who thought about birthdays, right? Who thought about birthdays? Well, my kid's birthdays come up. Uh, in summertime. So hopefully things are back to normal by then. What map today? Well, Pickle, we are on Leighton Lakes trying to get a little bit more prep, making sure that we're ready, that things are, are in a good spot when the great ones come out. Uh, we want to just keep cycling these white tail, and we've had some pretty good spawns lately, some pretty big golds. So it might turn into a diamond hunt, but we'll see how that goes. So I got my eye on a few that were just so big. They were just white tail monsters man and i love it i mean i've already you know prior to the great ones white tails one of my favorite species to hunt so you know i'm not complaining that we got to give it all this extra love and attention a little tlc you've lost white tail need zones are you sure buddy though are you sure because those zones hold multiples it seems you can have a white tail zone one minute next minute it says moose you know, or next minute it says jackrabbits. And the only ones that don't seem to share is the ducks. The, the waterfowl don't seem to make much of a difference. But we are in Leighton. 
We are up at Diamond Alley. Before we get onto the white tail, I just wanted to walk the alley. Just see what's going on. I haven't been hitting it too much lately in the morning. You know, so I, I got my smoke stick. We're ready in case we see any big ones. If any big palmates walk out, we're going to smoke them off. And then, uh, you know, got all the, the basic features that we need for a good hunt. We've got... Wait a minute. Hold on a sec now. Did I... Did I... Did I... Well, let's make sure. We got the Ranger 243. I brought the 10 gauge. I had a lot of fun with this. I'm doing a little recording for an upcoming video. And uh, not going to give too much away. I had a lot of fun with this gun, man. Have y'all tried it with the slugs yet? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it was... It was mind-numbing, let me just tell you that. M1 going to town, brought that with me. Of course we got our smoke stick. I, I cannot leave without this thing. It's it's ruined me. It's ruined me. I must have one in my life. That's as close as I'm getting right now is in this game. <laughs> oh, I miss so much. Gold Eagle, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you, man. I'm doing very well. Thank you, team man. What's happening? Uh, there's always stuff that happens on, on the week of new content. Well, you're right, Frank. Yep, there's always something going down. And there's always things to figure out, too, when that new content comes out. But you never know. I'm having some pretty weak-looking spawns in Diamond Alley lately. And I'm... Yeah, i got a few things I want to talk about. But we'll get to those. We don't, need to, we don't need to hit all that up right away. But I have some interesting stuff to throw your guys away. My little girl, Lily, is missing her horses so bad. Oh, Daz. Yeah, man, I can only imagine. I think the younger they are, the harder this is. You know, especially when they get to an age where they can't understand what's going on. You know, like, holy man, at least mine are old enough now. I can explain it to them. They get it. You know, but, man. I don't know. It's uh, times are changing. What's y'all's weather looking like today? Mine's about 40 to 50 degrees and strong wind. Well, Rodney, I'll tell you, it's uh, it's pretty nice outside. We got sun up in the sky. I don't know. It's got to be about 13, 14 degrees Celsius. So whatever that is in the Fahrenheit's. I'd have to go turn on my oven to look. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My oven doesn't go that low. <laughs> I'm terrible at swapping them back and forth like that. Uh, oh, no, Andrew, that sucks, buddy. That sucks. I hate to hear that, man. I really, really do. Are you going to leave? Or are you just going to let me walk right up? And yeah, what do we have in our... Because uh... I brought it with me. Because, uh, you know, it's it's a thing. I'm, I'm th Did you really just hear me now? <laughs> Sorry. Just starting things off with a little shotgun action. I don't know what it is with this thing, man. It makes me feel like a little school kid popping it it just goes how did that what the heck are you kidding me yeah that's better holy cow you're gonna try and tell me that none of those first ones hit we were point blank hey how you doing i'm shooting blanks over here ladies <laughs> cool. leave that alone let's go pick that guy up he's got to be dead by now or she i should say <laughs> so i got a copyright strike not actually a strike um YouTube, man, they have their bots that run around and flag music if someone's made a claim. So it's a con it's labeled against me as a content ID. Boy, I do want to kill some of these meese while we're out here. Uh, nothing's going to happen, but I guess they get to play ads on my video. It was last stream. It was last stream. I was playing copyright-free music, according to Spotify. Don't trust the Spotify. <laughs> That's all I can say if you're making content. Holy man, I've never had a proper strike and I don't want one, you know, because I primarily like to stream, as you guys know. If I get a strike, that's it. No stream in three months, man. Could you imagine? That would suck. <laughs> so I couldn't believe it. Anyhow, it is what it is. I can't believe this thing lasted as long as it did. I got I to gotta go pick it up. I have to see where we hit it because we were so close. Raining at 50. Oh, 70 degrees outside. That's not too bad, Tyler. Achori, what's going on, man? How are you? Oh, today's your birthday right on, Gold Eagle. Well, happy birthday, man. That's fantastic. What a way to spend it with us. I greatly appreciate that. We'll see if we can uh, find you a birthday diamond or something on here. At least a big old monster. Something with great big antlers or palmates. This thing, I can't believe how long it lived. Holy... Gotta be kidding me. So anyways, while we're on the tubes, it's going back to the uh, canned music that I have <laughs> that we've been listening to for quite some time. I'll try and find some more free music, but I swear, if you don't take it off a YouTube site, you cannot trust it. 
Kill the Mises. That's right, Tyler. That's right. All right, where did we hit this? So we did hit it three times. The slug did not make it. Holy. And neither did the second one. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's good to know. I, I mean, I understand these are these are rated much higher, but the slugs go all the way to nine. I I'm I'm a little I'm a little shocked and a bit dismayed. <laughs> Well, it is what it is. We weren't doing it for the sake of anything other than to make a boom and to watch something run or die. Oh, man, crazy weather. Look at it all across the board. 13 Celsius is 55 Fahrenheit. So Tyler's almost at 77. So Jesse's at 50. So we're pretty close there. We're pretty close. Hey, Forza, how you doing? How's it going? Two ski boys, welcome. Nice to see you. God's Outdoorsman, hello and welcome. We've had three seasons since 9 a.m. Lorraine, that's awesome. <laughs> I'd say, sorry, do you live in Vancouver? Because that's pretty much what happens to us normally. I tell you, you can get snow and rain and sun all in the same day here at the right time of year. Ron, hello and welcome. How are you? Appreciate that, God's Outdoorsman, really do. Krista Kenyon, hello and welcome. Nice to have everybody out today. We're just getting things rolling here, my friends. For those that are just rolling in now, we are in Layton Lakes. We're getting ready for the great ones. It comes out on Tuesday on all platforms. Uh, we're just currently rolling through the alley. We're in Diamond Alley. Got to take a look and see if anything at all has popped that's yummy looking. And it, it so far doesn't look that way. <laughs> we're going to cut through here instead of running all the way back out there. And then we're going to start bouncing around. So I, I set the time for a little earlier today than we've been doing. I've set it for 8 o'clock, which is when a lot of these need zones came about. So, you know, good chance on, on finding animals. If you've hunted an area a bunch and you got need zones and you're doing it all that same time of day, that's the time of day you should be hunting. So that's why I'm heading out now. I want to see if we can find anything worthwhile before we get onto the whitetail. But we're going to get on the whitetail and we are going to absolutely pounce the map. Parquet for data, right on, T man. You gonna stream on Twitch? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be playing our tunes over there. He rest assured. It's uh, it's taken on a whole life of its own that Twitch thing. My goodness, man. The streams are so drastically different now. I can't believe it. I mean, it's cool. We get a lot of the same peeps, which is awesome. And thank you all that have, have made the effort to come over. I know if uh, you know, start something new. If you haven't done Twitch before. You know, I'd be like, well, you know, I'm a YouTube guy and hey, or gal, and I get that. Well, so for those of you that did make the uh, the adjustments, thank you very much. I appreciate that. For those of you that didn't, well, you got more opportunities. <laughs> Come on by. Let's have a little fun today. Well, we got a lot of meese, but nothing good looking. I think we should maybe kill some of these lowly, lowly looking animals. Look at that male right there. It, it just is screaming to get shot right in the broadside of its barn. All right, let's go ahead and just put one right there. We don't have to worry about any interference with any bones or... You can throw a cow in front of it. It's going through. This thing is a beast, man. Still think it should go to nine. Ooh, 80 in Georgia. Very nice, man. Very nice. Hey, how you doing, C-Man? Uh, 431 with the follow over on Twitch. Thank you very much, my friend. Means an awful lot having your support. Thank you, sir. I just want to kill things. <laughs> Sometimes, if it moves, it dies. And at the moment, that's kind of the motto. Renee, what's happening? Yes, not only have I seen the new trailer, I was showing uh, all the assets and everything that I've received from the developers yesterday on Twitch. That is correct. I have received a code. I have already played the game. I'm only allowed to do content, release content on it as of the 7th. I'm not sure what the actual release date is. Uh, these guys are pretty good. It's Big Ben. So they normally... Oh, hey, that's a nice looking two. There's a nice looking two. You guys aren't supposed to be all down here yet. <laughs> they're, uh, they're feeding. So nice thing about starting in the morning. It's not just the... The, the drink times, but also the morning is the feed times for all them, so you get quite a few of them. Well, we'll go over, we'll probably take a pop at a few of those now. I was going to come back down here at drink time. But that's right, guys, we will be doing uh, an early look at it as of the 7th, so somebody's able to look up what the release date is, well, well that'll be how early we get. Because the 7th, the embargo, as they have so aptly named it, the NDA lifts. 
So I'm pretty pumped about it, you know. I, I, and let me just start by saying, I do not expect Hunting Simulator 2 to replace Call of the Wild. But so far, it looks like another hunting game we're going to have to play. I'm not a fan of Hunting Simulator 1. Not my, not my thing. Didn't like it. Was not. But uh, so far, from what I've seen, and it's very limited, I haven't done much in it yet. I'm not ready to give my opinion, um, but it's going to get more of my hours <laughs> from where I, from where it's at. So I'm pretty excited about that, so stay tuned, and I'll make sure to put it out there. Well, Renee, I'm not entirely sure yet if I can answer if it's good or not. There's things I like, there's things that I don't like, but hey, I can say the same about Call of the Wild. What I really like about it is it's on Unreal Engine 4. So, I mean, by default, it's it's just such a pretty-looking game. Look at that. Just crushed that thing. Double-lunged it. God, I love that smoke stick. But we'll talk more about that. That's uh, I'm going to have some videos. We're going to do some streams. Uh, and I'll show you some stuff again. We'll, we'll maybe touch base on what I have, what I've received. They gave me trailers and a bunch of assets and things. So I'll, I'll make sure to show that off a little bit when we uh, we get over on the Twitch. YouTube's got me all kinds of nervous, man. Getting that strike. I couldn't believe it. I woke up. I'm like, what do you mean I got a copyright strike? Everything I play is non-copyright when I'm on YouTube. I make sure of it. So anyways, I'm just tiptoeing through the, uh, through the, the tulips, if you know what I'm saying. A nine legendary water buffalo. Awesome, T-Man. Good for you, buddy. Twitch is awesome, Forza. It really is, man. Chick a chick, I know. Twitch is going to be lit. It's crazy, man. Crazy the energy levels over there. I think a large part of it has to do with the music. Just because, you know, it kind of gets you going. You get pumped up. And uh, Speaking of music, I do have some background stuff I can play here. Let's see. Let's start with a little bit of that. Turn it down a little. Just so you can slightly lightly hear it. If it's too loud, let me know. So we got something in the background. You're going to have something when you're watching. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> You'll notice we changed our glass. Um, <laughs> for those of you that haven't joined the, tw the Twitch side of things, everybody has this thing with abusing the glass over there. For some reason, I think I think it's like they're picturing the biddies going off my beard into the glass. But we had a Plinko board up there yesterday or clinko whatever the hell it is <laughs> we had we've had multiple different glasses and uh i just don't even know what to say man that's it's it's like a twitch game or something <laughs> hey jason chamberlain how are you newt what's going on man good i'm glad you caught her as well you cheer up my mood after losing the job due to corona oh, i'm so sorry to hear that bro i really am oh we were gonna kill those white tails weren't we right Right, because my head works get her. Let's go over here and check it out. Yeah, Tyler, I, I agree. I mean, to an extent, but I mean, geez, if Cabela's releasing you and I'd play it too. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when you look back on it, Cabela's, they weren't known for cutting edge graphics. They had some cool effects. I really like the, uh, the bullet travel, but... Uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like uh, Big Ben Studios is taking a page out of uh, more than one developer's book. Okay, so those other guys, did they leave? We're at 165. They're going to hear me when I hit 150. Watch, the heads are about to lift. Don't make liars out of me now. At 150, they generally hear the normal footsteps. There, there's the alert. Okay, okay, okay. I'll crouch now. Made my point. We got a little closer to 150 that time. Jaxie, keep yourself calm so you can go longer today and watch that voice. Yeah, that's kind of been shutting us down lately, eh? It's, the voice is gone. It's time to close her down. We're closing up shop. Yesterday, I made the mistake of mentioning we were going to end soon. And then... All of a sudden, 10 viewers left. It's like, oh, no. And when you're trying to go for partner, it's your average viewers. So when you get a viewer drop like that, it actually affects it. And if I had a stopped before that happened, I'm literally one point away from partner on Twitch. From being able to apply. One point. So if I hadn't have said that and had I just said goodbye, it would have been fine. <laughs> I got to be careful, man. I just like to tell you guys what's going down. You know, we're getting close to the end. I'll let you know. <laughs> Maybe even sitting there with your legs crossed trying to hold it in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was good times though yesterday, man. I had a lot of fun. It was absolutely crazy. We're about to do it again today. 
This is the start. This is how we get ramped up, man. This is how we get ramped up. We come out here onto the tubes. We get ourselves going. We get all into a frenzy. Then we go over to Twitch and we absolutely kill everything. All right. Let's take a look. So, yeah, a couple of them left. Unless they're down lower and I'm just not seeing them. La Moosage. Where, where'd they go? That's okay. We're going to take that one guy right in front here. He's only at 79. We're going to smoke stick him. Skadoosh. Ooh, that's not bad looking at all. Just to make sure it dies. Oh, come on. That was on the side. That should have been a lung shot. Oh, dope. Got to be real careful around here and watch my kills. I don't want any overlap. I, uh, Diamond Alley, man. You know, we lost enough of our need zones when they uh, did that one update a while back. I don't need to lose any more at all. Let's see. I think, yeah, that second one just died. So, I mean, I'm not so worried about the trophy rating right now. I'm more wanting to cycle through the animals. Because uh, we know they're going to come back in the same weight class. So, we know we're gonna, as long as we've got those twos, we're going to keep them as twos. Unless they were really small twos. Uh, but we did get a gold off that. That's not bad. That's not bad. 220. It's not a massive gold, but a decent gold. Nice looking rack. Get that on your wall. How you like me now? Okay. So, this other fellow... No organs, no organs. Well, whatever. We lodged him in there. He's going to die. We got to go pick him up so that he will respawn. Where do you go? <laughs> there we go. I see the blood right there. And Darth Magnus, what's cracking, man? How are you? You know I missed the intro music. Yeah, <laughs> Joey, I hear you. Mr. Fender, hello and welcome. Hey, Father36, what's going down, man? Chris Mann, hello, hello. Yes, I'll tell you, Renee. So I think Renee's got it on point there. I feel like this is a Canadian map here. This is almost identical ground uh, to a few of the places that I hunt. More to the point, and my man Sean Johns, when he came up here to join me on the hunt a couple of years back, boys, uh, he would attest to it. Oh, it's like a female. I don't see any wood. Yeah. He would attest to it. This is very much like Merit. Merit, BC. For any of our locals that are here right now, as we, we've got a couple handfuls now of, uh, of my neighbors. <laughs> you know, I don't actually know them as my neighbors, but they're very, they live very close to me. If you guys have been hunting a Merit, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And you are dead. He was an 86 kilogram, a 238, so he would have been bigger than the other one, but not bad. Nice looking, nice looking risers on it. So there we go. Got that out of the way. That's our first round with Whitetail today. Like I said, I was really not looking for Whitetail first thing this early. We were, you know, like it's only 9 o'clock, but you do get them at their feed zones, not their drink time. So pretty good. Dustin Bergen, hello and welcome. Well, we're hunting late and we're mostly going to be uh, picking apart our Whitetail in preparation for the patch coming on Tuesday with the great ones. We want to increase our chances by having them pop. So how do we increase our chances? We need to go out, you need to just hunt white tail, get those need zones, push them around a little bit, get need zones, stack those zones. If you got some buddies you trust real well, get them on your map, get out there in a the multiplayer. It's the best way to get need zones is to have people help you stack. Highly, highly recommend it. So that's, you know, first on the list, uh, but cycling through them now. You could kill, if you had a bunch of ones on your map, let's say white tail level one, you could continuously kill them. They're going to keep coming back relatively the same, but kill them enough, there's a very good chance you can get them to come back a little bigger. So it's worthwhile, and I mean, hey, it's just an excuse to go out and shoot something. Oh, hey, Chris, man, yeah. Oh, the M1, so the most recent weapon pack, and it's insane, man, it's insane. Uh, it came with the M1, beautiful gun, absolutely gorgeous, one of my favorites in the game right now. 
we've got this gorgeous shotgun. I would love to show you the trim on it, but I, I just can't. We don't have a scope for it, uh, but I don't think it needs it. I quite like the irons. It's a 10 gauge. Yeah, baby. 10 gauge. It's, it's fantastic. Of course, the prize of the pack, if you were to ask this bearded fellow, to me is the muzzle loader. And I mean, I love the M1, but I've got an option with it because it does take the 30 odd six ammo, in which I can use the 30 odd six. The shotgun, well, we've got other shotguns. This is the only muzzy in game. And I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Let's get it reloaded while we're at it. How to go hunting during lockdown. You're damn straight crazy, Dave. That's what you gotta do, man. Pop in, call the wild, and get it rolling. It's, uh, it's virtual pixel hunting, but hey, it's better than nothing. <laughs> So, DJ Amelia, hello and welcome, DZ. I, I just, I, forgive me if I have a hard time keeping names straight on both platforms. I get there. I do eventually get there. It takes me a little bit, though. <laughs> welcome. Nice to have you with us. Tyler Jones says, what's everyone take on the Hunter Mobile once everyone gets to play it? From what I understand, it's going worldwide. I haven't had a chance to play it. I'm really not very excited about it. I'm not a big fan of mobile games. Uh, you know, because they always feel a little too... I don't know, easy, <laughs> you know? Uh, but hey, I think it's cool, I think it's cool, um, you know, maybe we'll, uh, well, I'll leave it at that, <laughs> just like the interior, Houston, BC, oh man, alive, we've driven through Houston, oh god, many a times, always, I've never stopped and stayed there, but uh, always on our way through, um, I did a lot of trips to Alberta, we used to run up through that way. That's awesome, man. Right on. Good hunting up there. Yes, sir. I don't go too much farther past... Uh, well, okay, so that's not true. Like, we do Merritt, we do Kamloops, and we do... Um, Boston Bar would be all of our local hunting that we do here. I mean, some of my friends go to Chilliwack, and they go up to, like, Harrison and stuff, but uh, that's here nor there. But we tend to go out a little further. We like to go all the way up to Greenwood. You your BC boy, you know the Okanagan, I'm sure. We go up to Greenwood, just past Rock Creek. That's our, where our whitetail camp is. Uh, however, I do, I've done a fair bit up at 100 Mile. A buddy of mine has a really, really beautiful cabin on Ruth Lake. So we would use that. And I mean, he's right by what they call Moose Trail. And I mean, I can't begin to tell you. I've never been lucky enough to get a draw for, you know, for any moose out, out of that region. But I've seen so, so many. Are they adding new regions? No, Chris, no new regions being added. Uh, the big update coming up right now is the Great Ones. So the first Great One being introduced to the game, and there will eventually be one per map, is my understanding. The first one is a Whitetail, and it's a big non-typical. Yeah. So technically our first non-typical in game, but non-tips aren't being added to other species or to the rest of the Whitetails. Only the Great One. It's a level 10 Fabled, and that hits on Tuesday. Really, really rare to see, to get, to, yeah, and we're going to try. We're certainly going to try. I am not shooting you, ma'am. You must leave. Go. I said go. What did I see over there? Nothing. I <laughs> thought I saw something. Muzzle loader is Silver's towel. Covers everything between foxes and bison. Yeah, I wish it went all the way to nine. I really do wish it went all the way to nine. It only goes to eight for your integrity, uh, and I feel like it needs that one extra level because, man, I've shot Cape Buffalo with it, and they die. <laughs> you know, they're the toughest animals in game, and they die from it. I mean, it, and you can double lug it, man. Rude Guitar, what's happening, man? How are you? Hunter Bell, hello and welcome. Speedy, what's cracking? Yak attack, what do you say, buddy? Rude Guitar, good day from the Bearded Family. Mrs. B is rolling in. She's home. That's why I went a little bit late. I wanted her to be here, man. It's just not the same, right? Father, thank you very much for the follow over on Twitch. I greatly appreciate that. Guys, if you haven't done so, give us a follow at twitch.tv forward slash jaxybeard. We're going there after this. Much like we've done for our last three live streams on YouTube. It's kind of nice to be able to do that. It makes for one big stream. And we've done that, I think think three in a row now is that correct keeping track is uh it's hard to do these days speaking of which really disappointed with diamond alley we're gonna 
probably not call that Diamond Alley anymore. <laughs> that was very disappointing. Uh, if you had to guess after the Great One's Whitetail, what would you guess the next Great One's animal? Well, mm, I feel like, you know, you picked what they picked Whitetails, which is an iconic animal. I mean, Whitetail are, are largely found throughout the world. Uh, so that leads me to think, okay, all right, so they've gone hard with that. Well, what else? Well, I know that TK's, you know, as examples, kept throwing out, what if they did something, because he doesn't know it, <laughs> he's like, what if they did something with, the with you know, bears, and they had a bear with a big scar and all this. So a big grizzly would be cool. I could see them doing something like that, but I almost feel that by the time the next great one comes out, that maybe we'll see red deer with true racks, and at which time, I would say red deer. If we don't have true racks, because... I know there can be variations in the size of the great ones, like for the for the whitetail. So I would think they want it to be on true rack animals. Um, then I could see them doing something like like the grizzly, or or you know maybe even a wolf. I don't know. That's a good question, man. Roger Tubman said, "How you doing, man? Hey, you're all well, have a good day at work, bro. Keep still. What's cracking, man? What's happening?" Rachel Crash, hello to you. Hey, Rue Guitar, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I uh, just know anybody wanted to buy this game, so I, I am a hunter. I am a real-life hunter, and I've been hunting for years and years. I got into this game because I was waiting to go on a hunt. <laughs> I couldn't wait, man. I was biting at the bit. I'm like, okay, there's got to be some good hunting games. And I had seen this when it was on release, but it had such mixed reviews, and I thought, well, I'm not, I'm not willing to do it yet. Not willing, not until it kind of works through it. And so... Uh, it's gone through a lot of stages since then. The game is in a very, very playable state. But, you know, be aware. There are bugs. There are issues. And uh, depending on what you're playing on, there seems to be issues that relate to certain platforms. It's frustrating, but they're working on it. The nice thing is we have a very approachable dev team that, you know, really genuinely seem to care what we're doing. So if you're on the fence about buying it for the sake of the gameplay, gameplay's on point. For the sake of content, there's tons of content. They're adding tons more. Uh, devs are very good and supportive, and they don't shut you down. They will take constructive criticism. However, who be, who be calling? That's that female. Just be aware, there are glitches. I think we might actually... I might just go ahead. Nah, they're pretty small. They're pretty small. Yeah, me too, Father. I like it a lot. Hey, tune you up. What's going on, man? Absolutely. Yep. Should be smacking those light bulbs. Smack them. Smack them. I've had a lot of success on the other river north of High Lake. I've got some big boys hanging out there right now. Yes, absolutely, Darth. I go there often. It's one of my most hunted areas. Right up Colburn, you're referring. Um, this whole complex, I call it a complex because it just gets lit. It gets lit. And the animals never quite seem to make it to the lake. I mean, you get some, but they just sort of come in, they go out, and they, they kind of do this all the way around, and they go to these surrounding rivers. If you're not sure where to go, highly recommend it. Lots and lots of animals. We're going to bounce over there, actually. Uh, we'll probably do that next. Nothing really happened in this time of day right now where we are. We've seen the map go through a fair number of changes. <laughs> Hello, good morning, Jay Dropping Bobs, and that's not supposed to be on. Thank you very much for that, Jay. <laughs> there we go. That's how you make an entrance. Joey Six knows what's happening, man. Well. Good to see you, Jay. Thought we'd lost you, man. It's, uh, whew, man. We've had some pretty crazy ones lately. You missed out on some madness. JD, what's going down? How are you? Gavin Barry, what's up, man? It's, uh, yes. It's been on Game Pass for a while, and, you know, thankfully, uh, there's been a lot of people that have bought just the other content, and they haven't bought the actual base game. It was removed from Game Pass briefly. They put it back on. Oh, the panic that ensued, man. I feel bad for people. Oh, T-Man, you must be new to the channel if you don't know what that was. <laughs> this is the home of the Bobs. 
I'll tell the story. For those of you that don't know me, we have some new people that weren't around back then. So I was looking at a way to handle donations because I'm just, I'm that guy. If I, if we go into the bar, I'm the one buying the beers. That's how I am. I'm not yes, good at sir. receiving things, Fantastic. but I'm getting better. <laughs> Neil Wilder, hello, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Smack those white tails. See, I'm getting better, guys. <laughs> but that was my idea in the beginning. I needed to distract myself from the fact that someone's doing a donation. I had a really hard time with that, you know, and I still, I still struggle with a little bit. So hence the bo the bombs were born and, you know, I, I, I didn't mean it to be what it is. I just thought, hey, well, we're going to go ahead and put this out there. Uh, and uh, a lot of people, I don't want to say have copied it, but I mean, I don't know what else to say. And I still see some people using it, which I'm kind of surprised, you know. But this is the original home of the Bobs, and we had a bomb stream last time. And I uh, may have left them on my, my YouTube inch. But it is what it is. Oh, you've been really sick, Jay. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hope it ain't the Rona, bro. Oh, my goodness. It is so hot in this studio. I can hardly do this. Mrs. B, you would be an absolute star if you would text our daughter. Yes, we text our daughter who lives upstairs. She'd bring down that fan. <laughs> it's killing me. I can't believe how hot it is in here. It feels like summertime. And I'm sitting here in pants and a shirt. Yes, I have pants on today for this stream. Yes, I had to do it. I, you know... Hey, how you doing? Okay, well, we're going to the back end here because we do... Is that a female elk I saw? Yes, it was. We do have two little herds here. Now, I'm not going to worry about them if we don't find them. We're going to give a one push. If we don't find them, we're moving areas. What kind of Harley do I ride? Dustin, I ride a 08 Ultra Glide. Fully dressed. She's gorgeous, man. Got a, oh, she's just gorgeous. I just, I love it. She's my baby. <laughs> yeah. How about another one, he says. <laughs> Mr. J, you're, uh, you're not that sick, I see. <laughs> you can still push the buttons. Oh, thank you very much, my man. And hey, I hopefully we can make your, uh, your sickness a little bit more enjoyable you know what i'm saying oh man you know you want to come walking up to me like this not the kind i'm looking for totally trying to pull up the shotgun we're gonna let it go i don't want to shoot it elk are largely broken right now unfortunately here we go we're onto the white tails which is what we're looking for We had one good size one in this herd. We had some small ones. There they are right in front of us. So we'll walk. We'll give them a chance to cool down. They are moving inland a little. You got to give them almost a good couple hundred meters once they spook with the new mechanic now. So. Thirteen degrees in Calgary. All oh, the boom. Yeah, Panda. It's uh. <laughs> I I was very reluctant to bring it back because I wasn't sure. I was like, ah, it's been such so long since we've had it on the channel. I'm sure it's I'm not gonna it's not gonna hit me the same. But you know, when you crank your volume up and you turn your in-game sounds down, it uh, you should try it. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't really want to go all the way in there. Only have the one little male with them. I'd love to push that group and the group that we get over here. Of course, it could be the same group now that we're seeing here at the moment. I don't know if that's the second one that we have on this end. I've made notes how many groups I have in each area, how many herds. And I've been trying to do my best to keep track of them. So I'm going to tell you, for those of you that have been with us for a while, and you, you know it, uh, we've kind of discovered over the course of the last while, well, it was really when Diamond Alley was born, how the respawns work in this game. Well, with the changes to the UI and how they don't return always to the same, same mead zones anymore and to the same spots in the same mead zones, it's very hard to track the animals and, and to track their respawns because I was starting to think that they're just not respawning the same, but I'm starting to think they are. Just It's almost like there's a, 
RNG to the amount of days now. It seems to be a minimum of three, a maximum of six. So, ugh, it's, it's hard. It's hard to track. Pre 2.0, it was very easy to track the animals' movements. Uh, and, you know, a lot's changed since then. So, we just do our best. We're, hey, yeah, Mr. Buddha this time. I'm just going to, uh, can I just turn that down a little? <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Mr. Maxwell. Oh, my goodness, my man. 28 bucks. You know, you can do it with a buck. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you. Try to get me rattled before we even get to Twitch. Twitch rattles me without the bombs. You you guys found a way around that. Yeah, Jack Spear was on the fence until the electricity was turned on, so I had to jump on and buy the game. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. There we go. Look at those biddies. And they're falling in there. Well, not really biddies, but... Uh, we have different ones here. We have different ones. We have the big moose antler jaxie face thing we got going on. 150 people, only 10 likes. All we got to do is click it. Let's go. We all love this content. Thank you, Tune Up. I do appreciate that. Guys, if you haven't done so, I, it's, it's free. <laughs> Just click the buttons. Hit that thumbs up. Show a little appreciation that you want to see more of these streams, more streams like it, and that maybe you're enjoying it. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's just a way to sort of convey, hey, man, we, we appreciate it. Does wonders for the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. And do it with a couple limbs if you gotta. Whew. I am cooking. Absolutely cooking. I'm going to have to take a break and get a fan sorted here. Uh, I was really hopeful. Mrs. B, if you're listening, if you could get our daughter to run the fan down, would be fantastic. I'm melting right now. Just had a shower. <laughs> Rasmataz Creations, what's going down, man? Ted and I said, what are you guys talking sickness? No. no. Ted and I sucks. Oh, I hear a door opening. My savior. Thank you. I, uh, I should probably just leave that thing sitting down here for from now forth. She doesn't get to commandeer mine. <laughs> Somehow, my daughter thinks that that became hers. It is very much mine. <laughs> That's how it happens when you have kids. What's yours is yours, but really not, it's theirs. Lay down, Elk. Nothing fantastic, but it was the best we had in screen or options. To shoot. You know what I'm saying? Unless we can hit one of those birds, which we can't do. We have done. You can kill them. You can't harvest them. Much like the rabbits. You guys remember that? Who was playing this game before we had rabbits introduced? There were rabbits. You could shoot them, you could kill them, but you couldn't harvest them. We all thought, oh, that's a placeholder for more animals. Well, if that was the case, then where's the squirrels? Because I still see squirrels. Sheet of law everywhere. <laughs> How do you cycle the days, Neil? All you got to do is go to your, uh, your outpost and just adjust your time. By setting the time one minute back, It'll actually move you ahead 24 hours. So that's the easiest way to do it and work it out. Don't you be barking. Listen. Listen, Yoda. We need to have words. We do not need to have words. Why is the dog whining? I don't know what's going on today. Beard cut a hole in the wall. Put an AC unit in. We have AC. Upstairs. You see, we used to have our... Uh, Ant live downstairs. I'm not so happy with the slugs on Moose, I gotta be honest. We definitely hit that twice, in fact. A little bizarre. Oh, it's okay, dear, no worries. I appreciate it, thank you. Just a little guff. But we'll take it for that thousand bucks. <laughs> we hit him in the heart with it. But the other one, I mean, that moose hasn't even died. Okay, well, we're not going to hang around and wait for it. I want to go up the other side now. We're going to walk over and up. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Jeez, that thing, you guys all saw that, right? I mean, it had all this field and it lined me right up. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, no, that's great. 
That's great. Thank you so much, my dear. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Okay. Okay, it's died. I'm not going to go find that. So we're going to start down here. I kind of want to get over it. We'll, we'll hit this tent. And let's see where we're at. It's my pleasure, Neil. No worries, man. Whoa. Did YouTube just crash? What just happened? I don't know what happened there. My chat completely disappeared. But it's back now. It's good. What's my favorite animal in Leighton Lakes? Moose. I still love the meese, man. They're just... I love them. Absolutely love them. Let's make sure we've got that need zone I can see right here. It's always good to pick up them zones. Yes, sir. Very nice. Uh, meese are still my favorite animal. I, it's what I enjoy to hunt the most. IRL and whenever I'm on a moose hunt, especially when I'm just playing by myself. And I'm rolling around and I come across something big. Hey! <laughs> it's a little loud right now. Come across something big. I get uh, I get excited, you know. It's like, oh, 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 and I can relate it to being on some of the hunts we've been on, you know. Moose are just so majestic in the wild. This game, you know, we get some big pole mates, don't get me wrong, but it does not it does not do moose hunting justice. You know. And I would say after the moose. I mean, there's a lot of really fun animals, but what do I enjoy the most? Yeah, I will just let's just stick with moose. I don't need to go any, any deeper than that. <laughs> if you can pull the trigger, you can hit the like button. Oh, tune up. Very good, buddy. Yes, sir. I like that. I have chipmunks on my bird feeders. I need to kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I used to get a lot of squirrels would, uh, would go to the hummingbird feeders and regular bird feeders up our old cabin. Can you shoot the moose with the 470? Because I used to, but I don't know if it works now. Uh, I believe it does. Yes, it would. Yes, it's rated for it. I'm really not a fan of the 470. You have to be so close. Honestly, so close for it to really be any good. Let's actually get to the other side of the river. I was going to run up this side, but let's cross over. Because we do have some whitetails that sit over there. Uh, oh, I didn't change the time. Somebody should have told me, change the time, Beard. We're going to go back. We're just going to quickly go back. We're right here. We're going to change the time. Let's go ahead and put it right to noon. That should give us enough time to get down the river. Give me that little mashing buttons. I love the option to just actually put in the numeric value I'd like. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, Carl, what's happening, man? Uh, got some good-sized golds. Nothing. No diamonds or anything, bud. Just uh, some good yip yaps and get her rolling here. Uh-oh. Oh, I almost did something very wrong there. Ah, man. Thanks, Buddha. Appreciate it, buddy. You almost got my back. <laughs> what do I think of the 7mm? Texalite, the 7mm is a great rifle. I'm not a fan of single shot. I, I don't like any crack barrel weapons. I, I just, I don't. I don't. It, it, I stay away from the IRL. Uh, so I don't want to use them in a game. <laughs> you know, but prior to any of the bolt actions coming, I mean, I will take the 300 any day over the 7 mil. The advantage of the 7 mil is it's lighter than the other weapons within its class. So, you know, there's that. You got to kind of weigh the two out. If you're having weight issues, maybe you don't have pack mule, uh, you know, I mean, it's a good option. I, 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 it doesn't have the same stopping power as a lot of the bigger rifles, but it's a good gun. Definitely a very good option. I always tell everybody when they first start the game, you know, what, what weapon do I use? What do I do? What do I do? Well, start with the 243, go straight to the 7mm. Don't muck around with anything in between. The 270, the 223, just leave them. Get right to that 7mm. Once you've got the 7mm, then you focus on all your collars and your binos, all your equipment. So I think the 7mm fits a role that's definitely needed in this game. But with so many options now in that category, you know, it's like... Uh, <laughs> Just remember... Remember when our rabbits come into console? Yeah, man, I'll tell you. 
when we first started getting new content to the game, we were swamped with, hey, when's it coming to console? When's it coming to Xbox? When the geese come to Xbox? Geese were, were a big one. So was rabbits. Yeah, it was something else, man. What do you do? Wait, the 470 is just nines now? Because you used to be able to take moose with it. I haven't looked. So I maybe should have looked with commenting. Is it really just nines? No way. Did they do that to that rifle? That's a useless gun then. You, Because you have to be so incredibly close. And let's face it. How do you get in that close without taking a lot of time on some of the big animals? I mean, we don't have a collar for, for buffalo. You know. <laughs> so you got to get in real close if you want to use that. No matter what buffalo you're hunting or bison. We don't have... Uh, what do we have a well, I guess we... Lions, kind of. The colors, they're not the best for the lions, but you can stop them. Hey, right on, Leo. That's fantastic, man. Congratulations. Yeah, yes, I've killed a nine legendary lion. First one was uh, on a beta. Killed the same one twice. <laughs> Oh, I love the 338. I would just like a, a bolt action version of it. You know, especially since they changed the mechanics of the game, where you are now allowed two hits per animal to still get full score. Or oh, do you want to carry a single shot weapon? I, I I would love to see them bring different variations of the 7 mil, the 338. You know, give us a 308. All bolt action, please, yes sir. Scott Wilson. Welcome back, my friend. Nice to have you back in chat. Yeah, it's been a while, man. But we've been kicking and we've been grinding on all ends of the gears lately. Over on Twitch, here on the tubes. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I'm, I, I, you know, and I, I, I can't say this about anything else. I'm actually proud of our last video we did. I, I, it was, I put a lot of time into editing on it. Um, I've gone back and watched it. You guys, some of you have made some comments and maybe go, oh, I want to see that and see if I did. Oh, yeah, you know, I really tried to, to you know, build suspense in it. And uh, I was really happy with it. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. I want to do more videos like that with a little more production value, you know, maybe a little storytelling, a little, a little something, something to it. Rather than just going out, hunt, shoot, and shot, and then dead, dead, you know, a little something, something to it. And I've started working on something. Actually, I was working on a video yesterday and then working on it again this morning. And I ended up just hunting. <laughs> How does that happen? I'm like, oh, well, I need more footage. Any excuse to just go shoot things. So, uh, yeah, my Hirsch map is looking a little bit pink right now. Give us more handguns. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I can, I'll leave you to that one, Buddha. We're not allowed... We're not allowed them here. To get a handgun in Canada, you can get a handgun. You can get a pistol, handgun, whatever you want. But you, we're absolutely... Uh, we're at the government's mercy. You want to move the thing around? You got to get a... First, you got to be a, a standing member. Valid standing member in a gun club. You have to get a permit that's through that gun club to transport your freaking handgun. It's ridiculous, man. So we're not allowed to hunt with them. So that's why I don't use them much in-game. There's no immersion for me. Personally, I kind of like the rules in the States on that one better because I can't begin to tell you how much more confident I would feel if I had a handgun as a sidearm going through the bush after you've dropped an animal and maybe you're cleaning it or you're hanging around it a little too long. We have a lot of bears here, man. <laughs> Anyone who hunts in BC will tell you, bears are a big thing here. I would love to have a 454 strapped to my hip. Yes, please. Okay, so no sign of those two herds. A little disappointed. We'll see. We'll keep moving. Hey, hey, right on, Carson. That's awesome, man. Love to hear it. <laughs> Glitch free gaming says, How's the best looking hunter doing today? Not too bad, my friend. Not too bad. How are you? Welcome. It's nice to have you out. I think we're, uh, are we killing them too hard? <laughs> we might actually cross over here and go up towards the lake because I know they're back here. 
And they always stay in the same region. Blu-ray. Hey, I got a question, Beard. I know you may not see this, so is there a mod in here that can see it? Please ask him for me. I wanted to know the best way to get shotgun score. I want the scope. I mean, honestly, your best bet is go out right now. I would say hunt geese, hunt ducks, because uh, you get score real fast. You get multiple, multiple kills every on every flock, every, every time you're setting up on those things. Uh, and it adds up. Even on the ducks, it doesn't seem like a whole lot, and you'll earn really good money doing it, too. Aside from that, going and killing, you know, because you're, you're trying to work the score and also um, going and killing smaller animals like some of the does and that sort of thing is a good option as well. That's how I did it back in the day in Roe Deer because they just melt in front of it. Okay, so I think we're going to take a look for some tracks up here. We'll pop back down here afterwards. Francis King, hello and welcome. We are currently out looking for some whitetail now. You need a restricted license to own a handgun in Canada, exactly. When I did my Hunter's Core, um, you know, I also did my restricted at the same time. So, you know, if you're doing your core here in Canada, and you might as well get that restricted. It cost me an extra 25 bucks if I did it at the same time. Not if I went back separately, though. It was quite expensive. It was a couple hundred. Uh, but even then, got to be under lock and key when you want to transport it. You have to have a permit when you transport it. They really regulate us here in Canada when it comes to handguns. And I mean, uh, you know, uh, they got their reasoning. It is what it is. We just, there's nothing we can do about it, so we just kind of carry on. <laughs> we need more recurves in a longbow with rattlesnake skin background or with a, a copperhead. A Fredbear style recurve would be nice. Oh yeah. I'm not much of a recurve guy. I love the compound. But I'm up I'm open for anything. Anything you bring to this game, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna play. Because you know it's how I found muzzle loaders. Not something I ever would have done, IRL. <laughs> Just it wasn't on my list. I don't really know much about them. <laughs> yeah, Buddha. <laughs> Black Black Twilighty, hello, hello, welcome. How do you see our what's up? <laughs> At what time is the after party? As soon as we're done here, we'll take a 15, 20 minute break and we're going to roll on over and get things rolling on the Twitches. We This will be it, guys. So we are literally one point away. One point away from being able to apply for partner. So one more stream today with over an average of 75 viewers on Twitch. And then I don't have to worry about numbers ever again. I don't worry about them on YouTube. But right now, I am worrying about them on Twitch, and that sucks. I hate... I Honestly, it, it takes a lot of the fun out of it for me. You know, as I'm sure you guys would understand. But it, but it does, because now you're you're worrying about things. Like, like yesterday, I mentioned I was going to leave, and 10 people left. Like I said, oh, we're going to get ready to wrap her up here soon. 10 people left. Can't blame them. Well, as soon as they left, I'm like, oh my God, Mr. B came in. She's like, ah, that drags your numbers down. Well, if I hadn't have said that and I had to just, you know, shut her down as I was going to. Kept those viewers up. We would have got it last night. So anyways, I'll be so glad. I don't like stressing over things. I like to just go out and have a good time, hang with you guys. As I'm sure you've all come to know. I <laughs> mean, you know, it's, it's just what I enjoy the most, man. And I don't want to watch numbers ever again. Ever. I spent two hours tracking a time and Fox found it, used the wrong arrow type. Oh, glitch freak game. And I'm so sorry to hear that, my friend. So sorry to hear that. But don't feel bad. It happens. It, it really does. Happens to the best and the worst of us. So don't berate yourself. Uh, I just, I get it. You know, it was a diamond. You know. oh. But what's the guy to do? You know, you just carry on. There'll be more, my man. There will be more. JC Steel, hello, hello. What's cracking, man? That was it over in good old South Africa there today. Look at the Black Hawk Knox for a shotgun. Husband got an AR-15 this past week. Oh, Jesse, that's awesome. <laughs> fun guns, man. A lot of fun. I don't know one, but I fired him. They're, uh, it's, they're great. <laughs> I think favorite I fired, you guys are going to laugh at me. 
buddy of mine has uh, had an AK, <laughs> AK-47. That thing, we, he brought it hunting one year. I shouldn't say this. I, I was told that this happened somewhere with somebody because they're really not legal here. <laughs> Wasn't me? Nope, nope. It proved nothing. Anyways, it came hunting one time and he had tracer rounds in it. We set up targets. Oh, man. It, it was insane. It was insane. So it was the the, um, the, the check version in it. So it, the, it's not a full auto, semi auto, but you learn how to do bump fires. You know, I ever tried that? Put it on your hip. And with the recoil on the shot, you just do a little bounce at your hip. Just a little. And you wiggle your finger. And it goes full auto. <laughs> it was insane. I, I've never fired a full auto. Again, not something we're allowed here in Canada land. So that was the closest I got. They're not a single white tail track through here, man. I am so disappointed in life right now. Let's head down. Let's go now. It's 12.53. We should have these guys here, which is who we're going to go check on next. Oh, what do you do, though? We are coming to Twitch. We are, buddy. Oh, I can't wait. Just have fun, man. I'm telling you. Like, seriously. It just doesn't feel right not being able to play the music. Just pull the cord, never say goodbye. <laughs> Tim K, how you doing, man? Hey, SC Outdoors, what's happening? Yeah, hey, Black Buck, you know what? I hear you. And it can. It can, absolutely. Just because I'm not seeing anything right now doesn't mean I don't have any there. I'm hell-bent that I'm going to find some here. I used to get a lot. Where I am right now, this path here, used to get them pathing because they would cycle up from here, and they would just, all these spots. And so there was always tracks. Okay, hold on. This is probably some right here. You know, when you speak, when you speak a little too soon, and it's not that. <laughs> you are not the white tails we are looking for. Oh, absolutely, Paul Van Hoser. How you doing, buddy? Doing great, man. Doing great. I really look forward to our Saturday streams. You know, the nice thing about our Saturday streams, normally I'm a little earlier. It's at the perfect time of day to catch almost all time zones when we start at noon. It's a little early for our friends down under. It's six in the morning for them, but they're they're getting up. Well, give or take an hour, depending on whereabouts they are down there. Uh, and then, of course, it's early enough that all of our friends on the other side of the pond are able to come and hang out with us. Because uh, it's a very, very large part of the channel is our friends over there. Okay, well, we'll take our time moving down here. Maybe we'll have something sitting at the bottom, leaving its head taken off. <laughs> we can oblige. Hello. Oh, you're exactly what we're looking... Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. For some reason, my buttons seem to double push lately. And Tyler, a B leg and roll it in the lobby. Big old subscription, Harley. Welcome, Tyler. Nice to have you with us, my friend. Is that tree in the way? It kind of looks like it is. Let's move over a little. Now, there may be more here. We're going to smoke. We're going to smoke it out, man. Lay down, son. Oh, why does that feel so good? No, I need a moment here. Hold on, hold on. I need a sip. I need a sip. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere now. <clears throat> Dip dizzy whizzle, my man. Just pleasurable to say. What's happening, buddy? I, I'm serious. If you guys, and I know a lot of you have tried it at home. <laughs> I know it's happening. But if you haven't, give it a try. It rolls off your tongue, man. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to hang out. I don't think you have missed a single stream for the last, my goodness, I don't know how long, buddy. Yay! How you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I just... <laughs> Buda Maxwell dropping bombs. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know, you let me get a little too comfortable. You let me think it's all good. <laughs> They're just in the ears. Okay, let's go and pick this thing up. Look at it tracks as we go. You just got the game. Any tips? Oh, Tyler, I got all kinds, buddy. Um, 
you'll find our channel's probably got the most guides on the channel for getting started and stuff that'll really, really help out. That's uh, how I specifically set out when we started covering this game. I wanted to take it in stages as we went, so definitely go and check some of those out, bud. Um, honestly, the, they're all still relevant. Uh, with the, uh, but let me actually say this while we're on that topic. So, how do I say this? I got a comment on my video the other day. He was quite irate. Um, on 4 LBF, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Go ahead and park that wherever you like, my friend. Uh, I had a comment on one of my videos. And it kind of it kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop. I thought, you're going to be kidding me. Okay. So I, I do a lot of guides, as you guys know that. And when something is maybe outdated, I like to put it in the comments. And I'll pin it. So when people watch it, they know. Well, I missed one on my geese guide. Back then, you could shoot geese with a 223. Well, I guess somebody had just watched the guide. Shot a diamond goose with 223 and bad things happened. Needless to say, he thought blasting me and telling me to take the video down was a good idea. <laughs> There's a lot of relevant information on that particular one. And I've caught all the other ones. So everything is all up to date still, with the exception of my top 10 tips and tricks, the very first one. But again, that's in the comments. Uh, that location no longer works. Jester Suds, welcome, my friend. Nice to have you with us here in the channel. First time catching the live stream, right on Big Boy Gaming. Awesome, man. Great having you with us. Uh, but one thing I will tell you, Tyler, be lagging. When you're getting going in this game, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't fall into the diamond hype. Just get out there and get some kills under your belt because you need to level up your rifle score. A rifle is going to be your most go-to weapon. I mean, the bow is awesome. Shotgun's awesome. Handguns are awesome. You're going to need it all, but start with one so you can really start making some money. And I recommend going at it, going hard until you unlock the 7mm. So you start with the 243, which, believe it or not, is actually a really good gun. Uh, it doesn't have the penetration that I would want it to quite as it used to, but uh, it's good for starting with. Get into the polymer tips as soon as you can because the soft ones, soft tips suck. And then go straight to the 7mm. I was talking about this earlier. That'll enable you to take all of the larger animals on this map. I'm on Leighton Lakes. I recommend starting on Leighton Lakes. Uh, if you've bought a pack and you have everything at your disposal, that's a different game. Um, but Leighton really is a good place to start. I mean, is it just going to sit there? Can I shoot it with the 243? Is it wrong of me? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I would highly recommend Tyler joining our Discord. There is a spreadsheet in there that uh, becomes your hunting, your, your go-to. Uh, it tells you what anim animals for, well, which weapons for what animals. Tells you need zone times. Uh, go for everything in the, in, at their drink times. Aside from that, check out the videos, bud. If you need any help, just hit me up at Discord. What's up, first stream I'm watching? Awesome, Jester. I think I said that, Jester. I think I did. Yep, yep. I'm a little beside myself. It's okay. Having a little fun now. <laughs> Here we go. We're going. Fry guy, what's happening? Just time to watch me fall apart. 132 out. We're going to smoke stick and zero for 150. Go ahead and get yourself into your skills and perks. Get all the way. Another one, Tyler. See, you got me going. I love when new people start the game. I really do. You've got these two tabs right here. You're going to earn one every level until you get into your 40s, at which time it'll become every third and it, and it alternates. And that holds the same when it becomes every third. Your skills. Very, very important. Very important. I'm not going to get into all that right now. Ambusher, same deal, very important. This guy, extremely important. But in your perks, you want... Oh, it's there you go, Ranger. Ha-ha! Ability to gauge approximate distance to a target while aiming with any weapon. It's beautiful. This should be your first one as you're zeroing because it unlocks the ability to toggle between different zero distances. If you look at my bottom right, it's 150 right now. Then we're 100, then we're at 200. So that's saying that Right at 200, I'm right dead on the mark. But I know if that animal's at 250, I need to lift it a bit. What's what's wandering over there? Hello. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, get the M1 out. This will be fun. Hold on. <laughs> eh. 
Are you out? Get some weird frame drop here right now. That must die. Let me just take this shot. Lung it, baby. Yes, please, my dear. That would be fantastic. No, no, that's perfect. Thank you, dear. Um, she, Miss B brought me something cool and refreshing. We'll go ahead and say that it is a Coca-Cola for our friends at YouTube. All right, let's go pick them up. How are we looking over there? Did we see now? I wanted to get those shots off real quick so that we didn't spook if any of our white tail were over there. No, it looks like elk have moved in at the moment. All right, let's go pick that up. Geese are the best way to make money, about 1,000 a goose. And if you set it up right, you'll have a ton of money soon. Um, geese are a good way to make money. I would not say it's the best way to make money. Personally, I think the best way to make money right now in game is to go find a herd and systematically tear them apart. If you go to Spain and you get on the Mouflon or you get on the Ibex, you make way more money a lot faster uh, as they're a lot easier to get in. The geese, there's a lot of downtime in between, but they definitely do pay pretty good and it is a great way to make money. You're not wrong, my friend. Definitely not wrong, but I'm just clearing up my personal opinion. I wouldn't call it the best. Uh, did we hit this guy? I think we did. It doesn't quite look like it, does it? Uh, but also, you know, head on over to the likes of Hirschfelden and get on a herd of red deer. Wow. Huh. Wow. <laughs> like, before I started my big red, and that's only a couple streams back, I was just over 300k. We're up to 428k after a couple days of hunting. I did a little bit off screen uh, <laughs> this morning. I actually had a pretty good hunt. <laughs> and it was pretty fun. And the other day after stream, I did as well. So Black Buck paid pretty good. Yeah, and there's lots of those around. Oh, JC, Mrs. B is an absolute chap. She keeps me going, man. Uh, but just to clarify, not disagreeing with you. I think geese are a great way to make money. Absolutely. I just think that there's faster ways. Uh, from my own testing, I actually have had a lot of fun with geese lately. I spent this morning, I, uh, I went and clambered around and I'd set up a couple new blinds. And yeah, man, it was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I had a good time. The duck blinds actually work pretty good on geese, I will say. What is this? What am I seeing? All right, whoops. Hey, Pure Ferda, how are you? Yes, finally the first one I've caught live. I just got done watching another one of your lives. Yeah, we have an awful good time in here. It's nice that you made it out. Thank you for coming to hang out. And yeah, I'm going to tell you, guys, if you haven't done so, twitch.tv forward slash Jaxiebeard. We have a lot of fun in our YouTube streams, but you won't know what I'm talking about until you see it. It is a different beast over there. I, I, I can't describe it, but there is something so different about these Twitch streams we've been doing lately. And so I've really been enjoying it. And we're about to go live over on Twitch. Uh, we're not going to do a real long one here today on YouTube, as we did start a little bit later, and I have a big dinner to make tonight. So it's almost three now, and then we're going to, yeah, we're going to bounce over to Twitch. And that'll be the last one for partner, and then I won't give two flying leaps about how many viewers we have at any given time, and so I'll start, and I will be, yeah, hey! <laughs> Boodermax will drop it, more bombs, he's having his way with me now. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it, buddy. Greatly appreciate you, my man, Mr. Boodermaxwell. <laughs> Jazzers, hello and welcome. Good to see you, good to see you. We're, uh, we're close to wrapping up the, the YouTube stream. We're going to head over to Twitch. We're going to make things happen over there. I got to play some tunes, man. It's becoming my, my, my MO while we're hunting. We must have tunes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to blast this guy with the M1. I only got two shots chambered. Well, not chambered, but, but you, know, you know, words are hard some days. <laughs> Today's some days. Okay, can you run back out? I would appreciate it. 
Shut up! Sorry, I wanted the pating. Y'all heard that pating? Isn't that pating the main thing? It's what I love most about this gun. The recoil, not so much. <laughs> I was watching my boy Ricky Racer, who has recently returned to YouTube. Guys, if you haven't checked him out, Ricky Racer. He's a crazy Aussie from down under. He's a lot of fun, man. He's a good guy. Anyways, he just returned to uh, to YouTube, and it was pretty cool, man. Like it was cool watching him get out there and getting the hunt going. Well, he had the M1 on Medved. Hey, you know, he hadn't tried the M1 yet. <laughs> watching with the recoil. He's a pretty good shot. <laughs> you know, but it's funny seeing people's reactions when they first get into it, right? Okay. Da douche. Oh, well, maybe we did actually hit a vital. We got a medium bleed, right? What did I miss here? What, what are we what are we asking? My go-to for money grinding is Gemsbach. Oh, Gemsbach are great money. Yes, absolutely, Viral. Hey, are you the other hand? What? What the hell? What is that? Hey. Hey. Hold on. Wait for me. Shooty big shooter sitting here. What is with animals charging me today, man? Y'all gonna... Poke your head out. Calm down so I can take it off. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Come on! Let's go! Mia, hello and welcome! And she rolls another big... Oh, she, I, I said... Me, me, hi. I, I don't... I, I just assumed right there because I knew a girl that was Mia. But I, yeah, my bad. I don't know if it's guy or girl. I don't mean any insult or injury. I just, hello and welcome. Nice having you with us. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> I'm tripping over my own tongue. It's, it's hanging out there on the side. And sometimes it hurts. <laughs> okay, well, we'll pick this guy up. We'll go back, pick that guy up. I love how they came running to me, man. <laughs> that was kind of handy. Appeared to get jump scared by the wildlife. Ian, you'd be a little on edge if you had to experience these bombs, too. <laughs> Well, we'll maybe leave them on there for just a little bit. Because everybody wanted them for so long, and, and they're not being abused, so I'm okay with it. But when it becomes a stream of just me sitting here blabbering away, yeah, no, then I'll remove them. <laughs> so, it's, you know, bombing responsibly. Is that a thing? Okay, was that the guy we shot? I don't think so. The one we shot looked a little bigger. Oh, it might be. That might be. Welcome back, Dylan. Absolutely, Gav. We're heading over to Twitch, man. I'm pumped. I can't. I just can't wait. I can't wait. I can't. I, it's this will be the last one that we need to worry about. It'll be a huge weight off my shoulders. I mean, it hasn't really affected me in like you know my mood and stuff, but it's a little stressful. It's a little stressful having to worry about stuff like that. I just. Want to hang out with y'all? <laughs> Is that too much to ask Twitch? <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right. Let's see. Any more white tails? I think we're looking pretty good. So not bad. Not bad. So we worked all at Diamond Alley. We've been up most of Colburn. We've been along Heighton, Heighton Lake River. We went up by High Lake, which was pretty cool. What? JC Steel, let's just call it today and forget all about the last two streams. I forgot what we were talking about for that thing. Hey, yeah. Come on, boots. Bob responsibly. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, JC. I lose track easily. Appreciate you, Buddha. <laughs> Buddha's been waiting, waiting for the Bob streams. I think he was the biggest bomb advocate in Discord. Caden Helfrick. Hello, sir. How are you? Welcome back. Leo 7mm with the follow over on Twitch. I like the name, man. That's awesome. Make me want to shoot a 7mm. Nice to have you with us over there. Appreciate the support, guys. If you haven't done so, now's the time. Twitch. Gundy, <laughs> man. 
<laughs> a responsible bomb just for you, Jaxie. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Appreciate it. Wow. I bet you we're going to wrap things up and the bombs start flying. Well, we're going to go for a couple more hours here. I need to settle in for the long haul. Everybody just kick back and put your feet up. Did that work? Did that work? <laughs> oh, man. Zig444. Yes, sir. With the follow over on Twitch. Thank you kindly. Looking forward to hanging out over there. Can we just can we just do it? Can we just go now? Is that is that good? I, I, I love our YouTube streams. I really do. But I just want to get this one out of the way. You know? And I want the ability to do the odd late night stream and not worry about numbers. You know? Stuff like that. We're on to the black tails. Not what we're looking for, though. Not at all. I feel like we should maybe shoot one just to take us over there. Can I smoke stick it? I want to smoke stick it. There's no way that's 700, 230. Okay, so this thing really drops off past the 200 mark. So let's see how much it drops off. I'm going to aim for the top of the back. <laughs> About what I thought. About the 30 meter mark. That wasn't, or the 30 meter difference. You only got to go up about a foot. That's not too bad. It's the big shots. You remember you guys, were you with us when we went to Fernando? That was an after party. That was an after party. That was a little nutty. We might not even remember that we were actually hunting. When we went over to Fernando, I took a shot on a red deer. It was at like 300. I think the thing made it about 230, 240. It just dived into the water. I couldn't believe it. Twitcher painted. <laughs> oh, Kaden, you miss good times, buddy. We've had all kinds of things going on here lately. We've had some monsters. We've had just some really good times. So it's good to have you back, man. Welcome. We're doing a lot on Twitch right now as well. We're going for partner, so we've been pushing pretty hard on it. We're about to actually pull out of here and head over to Twitch. Wait. Aha, I was right beside me. <laughs> Big boy gamer with the follow on Twitch. Thank you very much. You the man, buddy. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, it's just a female and we're getting 800 plus bucks. <laughs> like, you know, it's crazy. I would love it if you could sell your kills like that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> a little wabbit. There you go, Roger. Yeah, and I want to be able to do that. Like, I want to be able to start a stream if I want to at 10 o'clock at night. And not have to worry. If we only get 10 people or 5 people even that comes out, well, then that's just an, an intimate stream. And that's awesome. I want those options. I don't. I can't do that right now. There we go. There we go. This is big shots. We're ready. Are we at, were we right at 300? We got more coming in. That's a real nice looking two right there. Nothing else. We got some females. Good old Colburn, baby. If I were to crouch here, let's go for a big shot. Let's go for a big three hundy. We're going to go pop, pop. A lot easier to do with the 30 odd six than it is the M1. But we can make it happen. Oh, let's just make sure they're all females coming in. Yeah, I think we're good. Here we go. Oh, too high. Too high. Totally just threw one out there in the hopes that maybe. Let's wait till we see it here. I said pating. Dang it. Yeah, so the 30-odd six, that's, you know, when it comes down to ranged shots, that's why I prefer the 30-odd six over the M1. I would have nailed that second shot, but trying to pull it down from so high so quick. Oh, you're going to sit behind that tree. 
Oh. <laughs> it was head down like that. No, I think that got absorbed. Okay, so... Crap. <laughs> I gotta ways to run now. Trash Panda says, Discord equals the most awesome place. It does. Guys, if you haven't joined the Discord, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I've urged everybody. We've got uh, 26k on the channel. And we've got about 3,500 in Discord. Uh, you guys could do better than that. <laughs> you know, something I've wanted to try, you could stream in Discord. And since this whole COVID thing, um, Discord is upped it so you can have 50 people viewing. Uh, that could be like a real private stream. That could be a really neat thing to do one night just for fun. So I might actually try something like that. I've been talking about it for a little while now. But Discord definitely is the place to be, guys. It's where we all keep in touch when we're not streaming. And it's awfully nice to be able to share... Anything, really. It's not just about hunting. It's a it's a full-blown gaming community with lots always on the go, man. Definitely check it out. And, of course, if you haven't gotten involved yet, I don't know if you guys have heard, uh, but since there's no competitions in the game, no leaderboards in the game, we've started our own. So we have a King of the Kill, as you may very well know, but we also have a player leaderboard now, and it is lit. All you do is enter your King of the Kill, and it automatically gets entered into the leaderboard. Oh, I can get through here, right? I normally cross over there. Yeah, I can. I do CR, just get over there and let the after party start. Do it with two ads if you gotta. <laughs> I was thinking of that, Chica Chica. Yup. Yup. It's, it's gotta be perks, right? It's gotta be perks for being a Patreon. So well, I think that's uh, a good way to do that. Because I was gonna release. It's not something I've done in the past. We use Patreon as a way to support the community and to get involved. And it's tied directly to our Discord. And and it's it's really just a way to, to, to support, right? But I've always tried to give back to Patreon because you're really going above and beyond. You're going off platform to support, you know? And um, I've always tried to come up with ways. So I thought, well, maybe we'll do a Patreon-only vid. And I thought about it, and I'm like, well, no, they'll just, I mean, yeah, I don't do enough vids to do that. If I pump vids out every day, that would be no big deal. I thought maybe a Patreon stream. So that's how it could happen. It could happen in Discord like that. Absolutely, Chico. Hey, Mark, how you doing, man? What's going down? I'm doing pretty well, buddy. What's the best spot on late for a tree stand for big whitetails? I would use the tripods uh, at any of the locations we've hunted today. You know, honestly... One down here, one on the river crossing here, uh, anywhere up here. Like, this is really the mecca for whitetails on my map. I get the most here out of anywhere. But here is a great spot. Um, and down here, you know, I think I've kind of killed them all. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> uh, so many good spots for whitetail. And tripods you can put anywhere. The tree stands, I like the tree stands. I just haven't found... A ton of great spots for them yet. But I think that's something we're really going to work on is some good locations. For them. After you delete a need zone for Call of the Wild because you have too much hunting pressure, how long does it take the animals to go back there to the need zone spot? So let's see, all you got to do is clear your hunting pressure and animals will start to move back in. You're going to have to refine that need zone. So animals, um, when they respawn, animals get attached to need zones. The more need zones, the more respawns you get. So when the animals start to respawn, if you own that zone, you're going to get more animals. But the other downside is if you had something really nice attached to it and you delete it, it's not attached anymore. <laughs> okay, so we got one that should be on the ground up here. Skadoo. Wait, did that one just drop? I thought it drop where we shot it. Am I remembering life wrong? Okay. Don't leave me any tracks. Just die. That's all you gotta do. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We have the technology. Just a silver. I mean, it's a 201, so it was pretty small. 
Nonetheless, I mean, that was one of the really small guys that we started working, and it's a two now. So, not bad, not bad. Now we have another guy that's going to be dead by now. Let's go pick him up. Restricted TVs. Now follow it over on Twitch. Thank you for that, my friend. Look at all them Elkies. What are we, drunk? You're running like you're drunk. What's going down? All right. We can see the tracks up ahead. We're going to go pick this up real quick. Oh, yeah, I bet he's at a run. <laughs> he got shot two, maybe three times. <laughs> Ooh, uh -huh. Wow, you're, you went pretty far, considering. What are all these? Elk? Oh, more whitetail. So, it hit the scalpula, and we knew it was high. There was nothing I could do about it. It's unfortunate. I tried to pull it down as fast as I could, and I shot a little premature. Oh, all right, so these were all females, so I do believe we are done here. Hey. Two females. I had to make sure there was no wood on that. So we're looking pretty good. Can't complain. Guys, if you haven't done so, make sure you've hit that subscribe. Tag the little bell beside it. Do it with two heads if you gotta. Come and join the Discord. There is a link in the description. But make sure to come and join us at the after party. Twitch.tv forward slash Jaxiebeard. We're heading there now in about 15 minutes. Quick break. Stretch the legs. Use the little hunter's room. And I'll see you guys in there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to hit that like on the way out. Uh, we haven't we haven't broke 100 yet. Hey, we just hit 100. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you guys really, really soon. All right.